Hello guys and welcome to this workshop. This is workshop 001 so I will see how that will turn out and how much I will make in the future. So on my YouTube channel under the community tab I did a, a question and lots of people want shading and lighting then someone want hot surface and photography and the use in 3D and so on and so on. So first of all I will start with uh, Fusion 360 hard surface and then we will go in the later workshops we will go in shading and lighting to light for example the model and shade it we did in Fusion 360. So in case you missed out the Houdini 18 presentation is out now so just search for Houdini 18 and you will get it right here. Pretty nice new stuff. So I think let's get started in Fusion. So that's Fusion 360. You can also use other NURBS modeling programs. So for example there is uh, more 3D. Something like that here. Pretty cool program and it's really easy to use in my opinion and it's 295 uh, bucks for I think for unlimited version and you will get future updates and so on and there is another program called SolidWorks it's also uh, NURBS based but I really like Fusion 360 so let's get started. In this kind of modeling program you will start with a sketch. So I will quickly show you what I mean with that and then I will go into the details. So So something like that. It's pretty simple, uh, a cylinder with a hole and a chamfer or a bevel. And let's get started uh, how this will work. It's pretty simple. Let's get back, let's delete them. So in Fusion 360 we will start with a sketch. So under here create sketch, let's click that once and now this axis appears and for someone that's really confusing but it's pretty simple you will start on one plane or a planar face to create a sketch so let's get the normal grid here or construction plane something like that and now we will transfer transform from the modeling to the sketch tools. So we will get the sketch tools here. You will get here rectangle, circle, arc, polygon, ellipse, plot, spline, mirror, circular pattern and so on and so on. And here is the modify tab. That's really handy. Pretty cool too. So sketch, scale, offset, uh, break, extend, trim, fill it and so on. So let's get started with our first sketch. And that's pretty simple. So let's get a line for example. And let's start here. Let's create something like that. So then it goes down here and here and ends here. So now we will make one line in the middle and this is our mirror line. So let's go under here, mirror, so you can also pin this to toolbar, that's why it's on my fusion already here, so you can pin the tools on top here, so for example trim tool here and you can move them can you move them 
maybe. So now we uh, press double click and select these nine objects and go to mirror line, select, press once and select the mirror line and you will get a preview and let's hit OK and now we can trim away the mirror line because we don't need uh, the mirror line anymore. So for example let's start here with a fillet so it's like a, like a bevel and the cool thing is you can bevel the sketch. So let's get these two points here and now we can bevel them. So for s example 15 millimeters let's hit enter and we will get this round here let's create it here again so something like this and now you can proceed if you want round edges you can use that pretty cool tool and you will get something like this so now the next step for example pretty handy tool is the offset so you can offset here a sketch it's pretty nice but for now let's hit finish sketch and let's hit here the home button and now we got a sketch but we got no NURBS uh, surface so let's start with a simple extrude here so just hit here above extrude or E and you can extrude them out and now we will get a body that's pretty cool let's get let's get 20 millimeters here and you will get your first body now let's get on one face here and let's hit create sketch let's get the outline here and let's get to the offset tab and now we can offset the whole outline that's really strong in my opinion so you can do something like minus 5 let's get into this selection and let's extrude it inwards and now you will see the operation here will go into cut so it's like a, a boolean function and let's hit OK and you will get something like that pretty cool so what if if we want to make this whole body curved that would be really uh, a really long process in my opinion in something like poly modeling to get a body like this and then make even the shape so let's create a new sketch here on this plane right here and let's get a three point arc or you can use whatever you want and let's get a whole arc right here let's hit finish sketch now go to the split body so it's uh, it's here split body let's select the body we want to split so this body and the splitting tools is the sketch so now we will get the red plane and this is like the cutter plane let's hit OK and we cut the whole body so let's go under selection priority let's just for you pin this to your toolbars I use them pretty often so let's select body priority here let's select the upper body or the lower body and for example you can remove them and you will get something like this and it's pretty strong so something like this or you can go back one step and remove the top one so I like to whoops. I like to remove this body here so we get something like this let's save this quick in the hard surface let's make this series one workshop so now we get something like this. For the next hard surface detail, let's uh, let's get holds. So we want some holds here. 
Hmm. First of all, let's split the body in half so we can mirror it later. So that's pretty simple. You just create again a line here on on the top one here. Let's create one big line. Maybe there are other ways, but I really like to go with this way. Let's hit the split body, select the body, get the splitting tool, so the line here. And let's remove uh, this body for example. And we will get something like this. Cool. Now we can get some holes in here and mirror it back. So let's get started on this one here. So if you want to create a circle, press C on your keyboard and you will go automatically into the sketch function and now you sketch on this knob's surface right here. So not on this, not on this, not on this, only on this here. So you will sketch on this plane here from this face. So let's get a circle on here. So something like that. Finish sketch. The cool thing is press E and now you can extrude it inwards and make a hole in here. For further detail you can select the edges and for example go to chamfer and make a chamfer here. So the problem is now, uh, shit I want the circle a little bit higher. So let's go here in the timeline, let's get edit sketch, let's get M for the move tool, let's select the sketch and let's move it a little bit upwards. So something like that. Finish the sketch and automatically it's a parametric program. The future steps will get reprocessed and you will end up with a circle that's a little bit more above uh, the position you wanted. So let's create one circle again here. Something like that. Finish sketch. You can also, I think you can also get it. Yeah, repeat finish. Or was it like. Yeah, okay. Let's go further here. Hole. No. Undo. Redo, undo. Oh, okay, okay. So let's get a hole in here. Let's press OK. And again, let's make here a chamfer. A few millimeters, maybe 0 0.5. I think that's enough. Cool. So now we got two holes. Maybe we want, as a design element, we want one big cutout here. So let's get this. Let's go on this plane right here because that's uh, way more out than this one. And let's get create new sketch. Let's press L to get a line and we can make a big cutout here. Something like that. Let's redefine the edges here a little bit. Let's hit finish sketch. Let's select that. E for extrude and get the whole thing here out. So we will get something like this. Pretty cool too. Now you can for example go here and make some some holes in here for example to get something like this. Let's go back a few steps. 
let's save it. And now, for example, let's get a chamfer here, and now let's chamfer the whole stuff here. So let's get 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.5, yeah, 0 0.5, 2, 5 is better. And you can use them, for example, here too. Or maybe not, we will get an intersection here. Okay, S 0 0.25 will work. And you can add these little details, and that's pretty cool. And you can do this really fast here. So let's create another body because why not? Yeah, let's get into here and let's get the offset. So the cool thing is, yeah, when you get the offset right here. You can also make something like, let's get a whole sketch here. For example, that's just an example, you can do something like this. You can even cut this through and you will get this pretty, pretty complex body. That's pretty cool too. Let's leave it like that, why not? And let's get a new sketch, so let's press L. Let's get this uh, image plane right here. And let's get a rough uh, representation of this one here. So let's get a line. Right here. Let's get a three point arc right. Here, something like that. Pre pretty simple, pretty ugly. We can jam for that. So that's a pretty rough representation. Now you can, for example, redefine this if you want to. Something like that here. Fill it right here. Let's make another fill it right, right here. And another one right here. Let's make a big one right here. And let's get rid of this. Let's finish the sketch. Oh, we forget to mirror it, so let's get back to edit sketch. Let's get one big line here. Let's hit mirror. Let's get all parts with double click, mirror line, and select it. Press OK. And press finish sketch. So let's move them out a little bit. Something like that. Let's readjust the height quickly right here to get something like this. So now let's mirror the whole body here. So create mirror, mirror plane. Let's select this plane. Okay. So let's, let's, let's get this a little bit. That's pretty ugly <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's just hit the body priority tab press right and go to isolate let's go to this image plane right here or plane let's get a cut line here press finish sketch split body and it's just again uh, the same workflow. So you can choose cut all the way through or only this part and I think we only need this part. Yes. Okay. Let's cut this and let's remove it. So right click remove and we will get a clean cut here. 
let's get uh, to the body, right click and unisolate and let's mirror it properly uh, that looks alright <laughs> so we will get something like this now we can further further process this stuff for example make a big chamfer around here let's go to this face and let's get the offset in here minus 3.5 maybe something like that and with the offset you can pretty uh, make pretty fast s s uh, hard surface panel effects so something like that For example, you can now again select the edges here and make a little chamfer here again. Let's extrude this a little bit further and let's go to the body priority, isolate it. And let's cut some things away here. Let's get a body back here for. Okay. Okay, okay. So let's get a line through here and a line through here. That's just pretty rough. So let's finish the sketch. Split body. Splitting tools. Split it remove the parts and isolation mode and we will get this parts here now for example you can redefine the lower body here I think this chamfer won't get pretty good but uh, okay so you will get something like this here Maybe you want this, maybe not. So just like five millimeters. That looks pretty ugly. <laughs> so I really like um, I really like this part here, but not this part. <laughs> so yeah. Let's get just some other part in here. Let's delete the bodies. Let's get some other tools in here. I want to show you. So let's get a circle. maybe right here. Let's get a circle right here and we want three circles around one circle so a circular pattern so let's start here with the first circle something like that let's go create circular pattern and let's select the objects so the circle center point so for the center point you can use the point right here from the circle or you can just place a point creates a sketch point press OK and now you will get something like this so that's the circular pattern you can also do this with bodies so for example, let's let's move the whole body here 
to something like here. Let's select the bodies. Let's just join them for quickly to one body. Let's create pattern, circular pattern, objects, axis. Let's select this axis and you will get something like this. So that's just pretty basic uh, copy circular pattern stuff. But it's pretty uh, efficient for for some parts. Yeah. Let's go back a few steps. I don't like this. So what tools do we have? Oh, yeah, that's pretty important. Construction planes. Cool. Um, you will. I think you will start with the offset plane. You can pin these tools here above. So for something with a curve, you will need the tangent plane. So let me show you this. When you want to create a hole in here, it won't work because you can't create a sketch here. Select the tangent plane, go to this one, go to the top view and now you can adjust the plane how you want to be. So something like that. And now you can create a sketch onto this plane. So for something like something like that. And now you can make a hole. So be aware of that. So also use planes or construction planes in uh, this kind of situation if you want to get a hole through something like here or a little hole through something like here. So you can use the planes here and you can use the offset plane. This will offset from the origin right here or from a face you selected. Then the uh, plane at angle you can use uh, a edge and you can determine the angle here how you want to get a construction plane. Then the tangent plane is for curved stuff. The mid plane, yeah, the mid plane goes uh, through the middle of was it one or two? Let's get yeah. The middle plane is a, a little bit weird, <laughs> so I usually don't use the mid plane. Then the plane through two edges, so you can so you can do something like, oh, I want to get something between here. That's pretty handy. Plane through three points, that's pretty handy too, so you can use something like this. That was a bad example. Something like, you want a plane here. So you get this point, this point, and for example this point. And you will get this construction plane. Then plane tangent to face at points, so you can get something like that. So you place it that's a pretty bad example too. So you place it on your face and it will look to the point and plane along path. That's pretty handy too. So I think that's it for this first quick lesson or workshop in Fusion 360 for hard surface. And I will see you in the next workshop or in the next tutorial. Please da uh, write down your uh, opinion about this into the comments. And consider to subscribe and hit the bell icon because then you will get the newest updates. So thank you and have a nice day and I will see you.